Hi guys, how's it going? In the last tutorial, we learned how to build the mobile strip by using loft command. Here, I will teach you a new command, flow along curve to do it. You can download the materials from our website, this one. Okay, let's continue the tutorial. You can find the flow along curve command here, flow along curve, select the object, press enter, read your combo, select your base curve, this one and then target curve. Before it, you need to check if you have already selected the stretch yes. If you select stretch no, let's see what will happen. Select your target curve, this one. You will get unclosed surface like this. This is not what we want to have. So let's do it again. Press enter. Select the object, then press enter again. Select the base curve, stretch yes, and then the target curve. Now we get the mobile strip by using flow long curve command. Cool, let's learn some new commands. Arrow surface. Let's find it from edit surface tools here. You can find it from here, Arrow developable surface, or you can input Arrow surface. This one. Select the object. There are some options you can choose. You can choose if float yes or no, with labels or without labels. Here I choose explode yes and with labels. Let's see what will happen. Here I can get the surface one by one, right? This surface comes with label 1, 0, 11, and 7. Let's find it. You can find this surface here. The number 1, number 0, number 11, number 7. So if you know this surface is come from here. That is how the labels works. When you do this, if we use duplicate borders, this one. And we can get all of the outlines of this surface, right? And then we can make our laser cutting files and do your physics models. Okay, let's control Z and fold back. If we use exploded no and without labels, let's see what will happen. Press enter, and you can see all the surface connected together, right? Cool. We're gonna do this one by using arrow surface again. Select the object. You will see nothing happened because unrolling double curved surface will produce inaccurate results. You will find the reason from your comment bar. So what comment can we use? We can use smash comment for double curved surface. This one, smash and select your object, press enter. But you need to be careful when you do this, the surface is not very accurate to this one. There may include error in it, okay? So when you glue it back, when you do your physical models, it won't be very accurate to your digital models. Cool. And let's jump to the next step the bubble towers and you can see I have provided you two surface here close this one let's turn off this one and then we're gonna learn another new comment flow along surface this one click it and select the object press enter select the base curve this one and then select your target surface this one and here, because you already choose record history, then I drag my object, and you can see the other one moves together. Cool. You smash again. Let's compare this two surface. They are the same surface, okay? And you can draw any shapes depends on you let's copy and paste another surface
Let's try flow along surface again. Select all of these objects and press enter on the disk surface and then the target surface. The next step, we're gonna cut all of the surface. So we use split. Copy and paste one. Maybe negative, we move a negative 100. Here, cool. And then you split comment, select the object to split. This is the object. Press enter. And then select the cutting object. This one. Press enter. Now we can add all of the curves. Select this surface and offside surface. Maybe 0 0.2. Then we can move this solid volumes to another side. Negative 100 again. And then I use a new layer, create a new layer, and maybe name it to be one. Change your color for it. Cool, they made our bubble towers. In this tutorial, first we learn how to use flow along curve common to make the mobile strip, this one. And then we learned how to use angle surface to make laser cutting files from here. This one. And also smash comment is the third comment. And then the last one is flow along surface comment to make the bubble towers. Cool guys, practice it by yourselves, and then we do the next tutorial. See you next time. Hi guys, how's it going for the tutorials? Now I'd like to share something with you. As you know, you can watch tutorials on our channel, but for those who have just started with 3D modeling, or who's interested into having more details and wanting to improve the Rhino skills, we have designed a series of architecture modeling and design courses for Rhino and Grasshopper. Come to our website rhinoartschool.com, first link in the description below. Let's see how it works. Open up your browser and type rhinoartschool.com. You can join our Rhino architecture design tutorials from beginner to advanced course. The first one is unlimited time course, the second one is monthly payment course. They are the same courses, just different purchasing method. Throughout these courses, you'll get a step-by-step -step approach in learning how to model organic architectures, parametric architectures through interesting case studies and famous architects' projects. For example, Sahadi's projects, MAP projects, Big Architects project, Shigeru Barn projects, and many more. Join our professional architecture course and design your own miracle. Also, if you want files, materials, or YouTube tutorials, you can access them by becoming our blog members. You can find the link in the description below. I'd like to thank all our blog membership supporters, it really helps us create even better and more tutorials. If you like our tutorials and would like to see more, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe our channel as we upload new videos two times a week.